In this presentation, we're going to go over the solution to the using mail merge exercise. I have the artist letter word document open here, and we're going to use words mail merge wizard to create a mail merge for this document. First thing I'm going to do is select the mailings tab of the ribbon, and then I'm going to select start mail merge. And from the drop down, I'm going to select step by step mail merge wizard. The mail merge pane opens up here on the right. So in step one here, I'm going to create letters, so I'm going to leave the default. I'm going to click Next. I want to use the current document as my starting document, which is selected, so I'm going to click Next, select recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. I have a list in Excel that I'm going to use. I want to browse to my Excel sheet, so I'm going to click the Browse link. And from the Select Data Source dialog box, I'm going to navigate to and select in my exercises folder, the artists Excel sheet and click open. In the select table box here, I'm going to click OK. And then here in the mail merge recipients dialog box, I'm going to leave all of these people selected. I could deselect by deselecting the checkbox here if I wanted to deselect any, but I'm going to leave them all selected and click OK. So next I'm going to click the next write your letter link here at the bottom. I'm going to replace in the document artist address with the address black. So I'm going to select it, and then on the right here from the mail merge wizard pane, I'm going to click address block. You'll see here in the preview box that the street address is missing, so we do want to add that, so I'm going to select the match fields item here. Here under address one, I'm going to click the drop down and select street, and click OK. And now my preview is displaying the name, the street, and the rest of the address. I'm going to click OK here, then I'm going to select dear first name, I want to replace this with a greeting line. So I'm going to select greeting line on the right. I want to format this so it says dear and then just the first name. So from this drop down list, I can just find the first name. So dear Joshua, and then I'm going to click OK. Now I want to add the replacement for the album. In the body of the letter, I'm going to select album and then I'm going to select more items because I want this letter to be tailored to each recipient. I'm going to click more items. I'm going to click favorite album. It's going to merge the favorite album fields here into my letters. I'm going to click insert. That's been inserted. I'm going to click close. Now with all of my fields inserted here, I'm going to click the next option, preview your letters. And this is a preview of what the first letter will look like. You'll see I have personalized here the name and the person's address, and then Dear Boz, and then if you look in the body of the letter, there is the person's favorite album. So if everything looks correct here, and it does, I'm going to click the next item here, which is Next Complete the Merge, which is going to finish up my mail merge. Now under Merge in the wizard, I'm going to click Print. I would like to merge all of them to the printer, and if I have my printer set up and ready to go, I could click OK, and then my letters would print. Coming up next, you'll go over what you've learned in this lesson by completing a quiz on managing mailings in Word.